Hello, it's the most wonderful time of the year, and I'm not just talking about Christmas. I'm talking about celebration. I'm Karen Slowinski, and I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator from Northeast Ohio. So this is our celebration brochure, and it begins on January 4th. It is so packed with all kinds of good things. I cannot wait to show you some of the samples I've made using this. And these are all things that you can get for free. So if you have a $50 purchase, you can get a free item from this brochure. If you have $100, you could get either two items or you could get a higher level one. So one of the $100 level um, gifts. And they're all so wonderful. So I'm going to turn this camera around and I'm going to show you a project made from two of the things that are in this brochure. And I'm going to show you some other items that I've made just to wet your whistle. So you have to act on it fast because this only goes until the end of February. So let's get started. So this is the celebration brochure and I can't show you the inside, but it begins on January 4th. So I'm going to show you an adorable little card. This is using the awesome otters. And I just think these are so adorable. So we are gonna make this card today. And what we need is a piece of gray granite. And then I am just gonna fold that in half and I'm gonna give that a good crease with my bone folder. Okay. Then we need some small pieces of white paper. Um, this is gonna be for the inside and this is to use with our everyday label. And then I have a piece of paper that comes from the Sunshine and Rainbow. So I'm gonna show you this paper pack, which I adore. So I'm just gonna go through and just show you some of these beautiful papers. I think these are fabulous. I am so excited about these and they're so versatile. As you'll see, I've used them a lot already. So those, oh, this one is my favorite. And this one actually um, will cut out with our new cloud punch that is coming out. So that is that side. And then there's all these smaller prints on the back. So like I said, they are so versatile. So I am going to use this paper in our card and I have already cut a piece of it. This is two and a quarter wide and then I trimmed it at four and a half. And then this bottom piece that I cut off, we are gonna use for the inside with our sentiment like that. So now what we need to do is take this piece here and we're gonna cut it into um, some three quarter inch strips. So this was already at two and a quarter. So now I'm gonna cut it at the one and a half and then at the three quarter. And I'm gonna just put those down right here and keep them in order. So then we want to just simply stick these down and I'm gonna use my glue and add a little bit. And I'm just gonna put it right along the side. And then I'm gonna take my next one. I'm gonna put it pretty close to it, um, but I am going to offset it. So I am just going to put it up. And I'm just eyeballing it, as you can see here. And then I have this third one that I will put down. I will offset it again. It's gonna line up where that very first one did. And I'm just gonna slide that into place. All right, now we are going to take, oh, I forgot to get my little otter out of my um, set here. So, I'm gonna put him on a block and I'm gonna get out my memento ink and I'm going to ink him up. He's so cute sitting right here in the water. Perfect. All right, then I'm gonna get some of my blends out and I have my pool party light and dark and I have my gray granite. And so I'm gonna color my little otter so I think his belly section is going to be a lighter shade. I really don't know the coloring of otters. Um, I think they're kind of brownish grayish. Um, anyway, it doesn't really matter. He is so adorable. 
And so I'm just gonna color him. And then I think the outside is gonna be this darker. Get that little tip of his ear. I hope everybody had a wonderful holiday. Um, it was a little quieter here than normal. Um, just before Christmas, my husband came down with COVID. It was really more like a bad cold, except being extra tired. But miraculously, um, nobody else um, in the family got it, and we had all been together because we were celebrating my older daughter's birthday. Um, but we are all vaccinated, and so I think that really helped. So he is just about recovered now. Still coughing a little bit, and actually had a little bit of coughing myself, um, but I think that was just a cold. So now I'm going in and adding some of the light pool party. Um, this is on the water, and I'm gonna color the splashes with the dark. So I'm kinda giving them a little bit of space there. And I'm just kinda waving along. I think that looks great. Oh, and then let's get the dark. Okay, so we'll color these splashes. And I think I'm also going to color these little waves. So that just makes it stand out a little bit more. Gives it a little bit more coloring. There. He's looking adorable already. And then the last thing I'm gonna do, I have some um, uh, light basic black and I'm gonna color in his nose. So this is perfect. Then I have my everyday label punch and I am going to put him in here and then cut him up. All right, so this card is almost done. So what we're gonna do is pop him up. So I have some dimensionals. And, okay, and then I am going to put that right about there. And then I am putting a little hay there. This is um, from another set. It's actually from one called Catch You Later. But I thought that was really cute for just down here. And I stamped that in the gray granite. And then while I have that open, I am going to use this You Are Otterly Awesome. And we're gonna stamp that on our little scrap of paper. Okay, that looks great. We can close this up. And then I'm going to take, this was the leftover piece from when I cut, and I'm just going to glue that. And since this gray granite is a fairly light color, you don't need to put a white piece on the inside. So we are just going to stick this on here. Look at these stripes are so cute. I really, I think it's just so hard to tell which side you should use of this paper because it is both so pretty. So I'll stick that there. And speaking of otterly awesome, um, I don't know if you've seen, but the post office has um, otter stamps. They're really cute. So I got those for my Christmas cards. So this is some of our retiring ribbon. I hate to say it. Um, because I think it's really perfect for this card, but I'm just gonna turn this into a cute little bow. Um, this is available until January 3rd, so you can still get it. In fact, I think it is on sale. Hopefully it hasn't sold out, and I'm telling you to go get it. I'll trim this down a little bit. But it is such a perfect match for this card. So then I'm just gonna grab a glue dot Stick this right here. And there you have 
this adorable card. All right, so that's quick and easy. Now I'm gonna show you some other really, really cute cards. And I'm gonna show you some of these stamp sets at the same time. So this first card is from um, the paper that is the Daffodil Afternoon. So there is that card. So I'm gonna show you this paper is really, really pretty. And it has, let me get these out of the way. It has the, um, this is that paper that is nice to cut in half and then panels. And then we've got this one and this one, this beautiful one. And it will coordinate with a new daffodil um, stamp set that's coming out in the catalog. So that's really nice when these products in celebration can coordinate it, coordinate with other products. And then the background is not floral, so you could use it with all sorts of things. So there is the um, daffodil afternoon, or yes, yeah, daffodil afternoon. And here is another card that I made with that. Um, these little brass uh, butterflies are also in the upcoming catalog. But what a nice little simple card using that paper. It is fabulous. All right, more from this uh, sunshine and rainbows paper. Um, I think I already showed you the paper, so I'm gonna just show you some cards I made with it. Look, just little scraps of paper. Who wouldn't love getting this card? Oh my gosh, I just love it. And, and then we have a stamp set with rainbows in it, as you might guess by what I have chosen here. But there is that card. Oh, this one, this one is my favorite. I love this. Again, it's a really simple design, but it's so versatile and it works great with all kinds of scraps of your paper. And then I just took five of the different patterns and this is the die that comes in there. Oh, isn't that great? So that's fabulous. And here's another one with that paper. So I have, now this next one is from let me grab the paper. This is from a, a larger set. This is a $100 level set. Um, this is the Friendly Hello, and it's got paper and a stamp set. So I'm going to just show you the paper. So this lot of really big, beautiful florals on this side. Oh, come on. Come apart. Okay, and then I'm going to flip it over. And again, these are more, well, that one's not too subtle, um, but most of these are smaller patterns and a little subtle. I love that stripe. And there, there you have it. So this is the A Friendly Hello. And then the stamp set for that one is right here. So that is really, really pretty. And so this one, I just used the, some of the paper and I cut it up into strips. And then I use the Hope You Have a Best Birthday. Again, a nice, really simple card. And then here's another card I made with that stamp set. And I took the flowers and I just cut them out and cut out some leaves. And then I used some more of that beautiful striped rainbow paper. And I made it another beautiful birthday card. So that was the Friendly Hello. Then we have this one, which is called Driving By. And here is a card that I have made using that. And I've also used another one of the free papers. This is the Simply Marvelous paper. So I'm gonna show you that one. This one has these six shades of marbled paper. So we've got a blue, a gray, kind of a, a jade, purple, bumblebee, and a soft pinky peach. And then the back side, same tones, just a little bit more of a, a less of a marble pattern and more just of a, a I don't know, a, hmm, kind of looks like the, the granite pattern or something that you might get. So that was the Simply Marvelous and the Driving driving By. Then the next set is Catching Butterflies. So this is a really sweet set. And so here is a card that I made with that one and I used some of that marvelous paper again. So I stamped my girl and I fussy cut her out and colored her with my blends. I stamped my butterflies right on that paper and then just colored them. So isn't that really cute? 
And then I have another paper that I made with the Marvelous paper. So I've just used that to mat this. And this is another new set that's coming out. A beautiful floral. Um, I love the distinctive stamps. And then this is the Special Moments Celebration Set. And this one has all kinds of words on it. So I've used that in a couple of the different cards that I've shown you today. And that is a sneak peek of what is coming out on January 4th. So I'm just going to bring some of these cards back so that you can see them. I hope that you're really inspired. Um, get your uh, creative juices going and um, you can place an order. You can have um, this be all of your own order or you could have a class. You could um, come over, um, join me at some of my classes that I have here. Um, see these things in action, test them out. But this is a wonderful time to stock up on your supplies, get some free stuff, and see the new things in the catalog. Um, please give me a thumbs up if you like this little preview of Celebration and share it with your friends. I do appreciate that. It helps me to grow my business. Until next time, bye-bye.